Park Club. Brought to you in part by True Value and CGA Limited. And as you see, it's time for another potluck, but this time it's a live potluck, live in studio, because Carrie's making his pastel, his beef yes. pastel, beef pastel, pastel. Beef pastel, the only right way to make it, uh, right, Rockers? That is what we say. I feel gangdafone, <laughs> but... So what's the first thing, Carrie? Oh, uh, yeah, so the first thing you're going to use is your Promassa cornmeal. I, I said, and if you do not use Promassa, you'll regret it. Really? Yes. All right. You know, and I, I tried that before. And this is not even for TV saying this. Like, yeah. we had a genuine conversation about it the other day really? in, yeah. the, in the makeup room, and he was saying... Dog, it had a time I didn't use from Asa and no, it was for real. But you want to hear something? I didn't know it had any other cornmeal. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there any other cornmeal? Yeah, I never do that. I never did well, that. But, all right, right? Okay. so yes, make sure you use your Promasa. Trust me, you will not regret using Promasa. If you do not use it and use some other no name brand thing, yeah. and problems. Problems, you're gonna have problems. All right. You're gonna find yourself trying a shortcut for in flour in the pastel or kind of thing and real problems. So how much so, shipping? Um, we're not making too much, so it's just a demonstration this morning. So I'm okay. gonna use I'm gonna just free Hand it here, you right? Making enough for us to eat? <laughs> that will come out. Maybe. After. I just making sure we had to get priorities in order here. You know? <laughs> so you want to use roughly one third of the bag for this amount I'm mm -hmm. making. I'll probably be able to make a dozen or so with this. That's right? enough, man. All right, Did and you, uh, you want to put your mm -hmm. dried powdered seasoning in this. Now, some people they just leave their um, promassa, they leave their cornmeal bland, mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, it, it, then when you're eating the pastel you, when, and you first bite into it, what happens is that you um, you don't get any flavor. Yeah, it just, it just okay. tastes just bland corn, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, what I've learned from my aunt, actually, mm -hmm. is to flavor your, your cornmeal. Mm -hmm. And if only I can get this thing over. I was about to say something. So. something. All right, well, let me open this one in the meantime. <laughs> I mean, yeah. This one missing it's the tab. other one was missing the tab. <laughs> All right, thank you. You see, I have plenty help. That's your sous chef for today. Yeah, <laughs> sous chef Lisa Rodriguez of the Rodriguez clan. <laughs> right, so you're flavoring on top right, now. So you're flavoring mm -hmm. your thing. I don't think I need two because of the um, small amount I'm mm -hmm. making. Right, you could also add other things, uh, fresh chopped seasoning and stuff like that, but you right. want to keep it as dry as possible at, at this stage. Mm -hmm. Now, in this pot over here, I have some marigold margarine. Right. Right, and you want to mix your margarine with your cornmeal. So uh, that the margarine actually gives it moisture and it ah. helps with the mouth feel and stuff like okay. that, the texture. Okay. So uh, the margarine is how you start off with your cornmeal. Mm -hmm. All right, and we have, this is uh, nice and melted here. I'm going to use probably about one third of the stick of margarine My in this goal. case because of the um, small amount of thing I'm using, small amount of um, cornmeal. Right. All right, so I will set this aside because I also need to singe some fig leaf. So I will multitask here now. Yeah. So while you're multitasking, we have to go upstairs for the break, right, Carrie? All right, well. So we're going to continue we'll making and then come back after the break for the news with Carrie's homemade pastel. Yes, that's pastel right, looking so like it's already seeing things, though. I right, see so it. I see it fig leaf, so I like well, it. Well, I bring that fig leaf, leaf. I just want you to know that I'm going to come from the backyard. Right there in the backyard, like farm and up, you see. All right, so we're going to kick it upstairs. In the meantime, I'm going to continue singeing my leaves, and we'll get back to the second half of the pastel making. The Potluck, brought to you in part by True Value and CGA Limited. It's not from the people. Lovely. We're not using it with nice again. Right, Bob? right. Yes. <laughs> Table starting to look bright and lovely. And, uh, lovely, beautiful. Any, any, any other ones? Right? Bon yes, I love, that. I love that. <laughs> so, Carrie, we continue. Right, we're continuing. So, so, while um, during the break, what happened was that I singed the banana leaves because you want to make sure that those are pliable. That's why you singe yeah. them. Okay. All right, and uh, I mixed in my cornmeal with the uh, margarine, the marigold margarine. Mm -hmm. And this is the texture you're looking for. Okay. Right? So, this is what you're looking for. Now, all the cornmeal is moist with the thing. So at this point, it's you want to put... couscous look. That's how it's supposed to be? Yes, okay, exactly. Nice. Okay. So at this point, you want to add hot water. Okay. All right. And uh, you just want to add in small increments. It's just, yeah, you, you add just enough water to bring the dough together because it comes becomes very doughy at this point. And you don't want to add too much. So what of happens course. is that... Um, you can add, but you can't take away in this case. <laughs> I learned that from my rum punch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add a, a dash of water again. All right? And once you bring it together, and you want to work with this hot. The reason you work with it hot is because um, it tends to dry out. So um, 
over here, I actually have a bowl with some um, narel coconut oil. Nice. And that is to keep the moisture. The moisture, yes, keep that's it right. Wet. Yes, to keep it wet <laughs> once you like uh, it. once you make the bowls. <laughs> I thought we were making pastels. So yeah, we are making pastel, but you, you need no, to roll your dough into balls <laughs> at this point. So oh, yeah, I didn't know that. All right. Just a splash of water, just to bring your dough together, and uh, we're getting the consistency. Is that, that is the want. Christmas wrap? Eh? A wet pastel? Uh, yeah. <laughs> a wet pastel dough. Correct, <laughs> sir. <laughs> wet as pastel. <laughs> yeah, because you want your pastel as wet as possible, you know? Yeah, because you don't want a dry pasta. You know, sometimes, wants a dry pasta you know, sometimes you bite into a pasta and, you know, the, 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 the dough is crumbly and... Well, like, is, but there, is there a recommended size that you need the pasta to be? Because I know some people make pasta thicker than others, you know, the cornmeal part of it. No, I, I like to, to be generous with the meat when I make pasta. Ah, so I, yes. I do the dough itself thin, the crust, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, just enough to cover the, the meat and stuff. But then when you bite into it... Meat you know, everywhere. Yeah. That is what we say. You know we're eating a pasta. Yeah, man. And is this when it's beef pasta too? Oh, gosh. So wait, uh, any, any, any meat for the capers and the olives and all that of kind course. of thing? Of ah, course. And um, we have one person upstairs who will be a little bit upset, but you know, that's, that's just the way it has to go sometimes. There's raisins in it as well. That is what, how you can make a pasta with no raisins? Ask Tyrese. Ask Tyrese how we can do that. too young to understand the real concept <laughs> of food. <laughs> it's all right. It's not his fault. All right, so at this point, this is the consistency you want, and you're going to roll these... All right. Uh, 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 what's that? Is that is that West Indies cricketer? <laughs> what's all that? All right. So okay. you have them in. You put them in the oil to keep them moist. All right. So you're just gonna. Average. Oh, you just make any balls and put them in the, in the oil to to wait. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so you're not like all right. Okay, I'm watching. I had to learn because, like I said, I never make a pasta in my life. I and feel the like it's so much work. And I watch them what you're doing there, and I don't have them that amount of patience to sit down and. Be rolling balls and flicking balls. I like, I'm not a cricketer. <laughs> what is that? Why going through all that for? You like pastel? Yeah. Right, so that's why you're going through it no, for? No, no, no. You see, people can specialize, Gary. That's why they have people <laughs> like you. All I have to do is decide to give you some money. <laughs> 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 and say, can I have some pastels, please, sir? You know, I want to say good morning to Zari. Zari is uh, my cousin-in-law. And right. she's been making pastel. I'm not sure how old she is. I think she's like 12 or 13. Wow. Now. But she's been, she started her, her pastel business. Yeah. So she's been making pastels and they actually taste really, really good. And, you know, she did the blasphemy of making chicken pastels, but it's all right. It tastes good. That's <laughs> hey, well, she, you she know, not fine. everybody eats beef and stuff. I mean, the right way is with beef. The, the only way. <laughs> so the second rounds that we ordered from her, though, we got beef pastels. Right. Because it is going fantastic. I think <laughs> they might have like one and a half left. <laughs> so I'm making these balls here. So here's what. We're going to skip over to the next step. I know, I will so you're going to pull out all dozen balls? Oh, no. No, oh. we don't have time for that. I know, we're so on TV. Are, too much balls for that ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're on TV. Right? Because, you know, we have plenty of people at college. Boy, Jesse, you're already in studio. All right, so here, here's what's going to happen. We said it out, Lisa. We said it at the top. Okay, fine. We said it at all the right. top. Hey, pastel press in the house all year. <laughs> yes, Thank you very much, Michelle Diaz, all right, for this so pastel press. All right, so what you want to do is oil mm -hmm. your pastel oil press. Right. Oil the press. Right, on both oil sides. Oil the press on both sides. Then you're going to put your big leaf on the top, because this leaf is not going to move. This leaf is going to stay there. If you press your pastel, so this goes down, you put a little bit of oil on that, mm -hmm. okay, okay. All right, so you prevent it from sticking. Now you have your bottom piece, right? Right, and same, same deal. You put some oil on that, so nothing sticks. Your Can ball goes down. down, we have a countdown to the pastel, right? The ball goes down, right? But what do you mean? What? The meat well, coming the meat after, coming oh. after, after, the break, after the break. No, so you press yeah. the down first without anything, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, and this is why you need the top piece. Ah, and there we have okay, okay. the first All piece, right? right? All right, so, so Harry, I'm going to have to stop you there well, because you we ahead. have to do a break. We're going to do some of it off camera as well. As a matter of fact, what we're going to do is invite Marie Therese, who you all know. You guys know Marie Therese. Marie Therese made her Marie Therese soca, soca sorrel. Soca <laughs> sorrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. give you that name, right, Marie Therese? Yes, yes. But you will tell us why is it soca sorrel. What's your special? Because it tastes so great. <laughs> It has it has um the sorrel, it has mm. uh what do you call it the, the cloves, spices, spices, right? right? Mm -hmm. Cloves. Mm -hmm. And so and clove is what takes that very uh 
sour taste ah, out of it. But you know why I call it my dress soca sour? Because when you drink it, you're fucked up. You know what's going on? So dance across, the, dance across to the table. That's our pot luck, the group pot luck on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take in a few messages. College boy Jesse is up next. <laughs>